In order to do a tool of the week, or an article of the week, you would select the week that you, uh, you need to complete the assignment in. You would come to the weekly assignment submission link. You would open the Excel document. And for the article of the week, here's the link to the eSchool News, and for the tool of the week, the link to Common Sense. The article of the week OneNote is linked here, but it's probably already available in your OneNote through your Office 365, and the same thing with the tool of the week. So let's start with an article of the week. We'll open this page. You can search their different parts of their library by selecting them. You can simply look at what's on the lead page here because they have a variety of different items. Or you can use the search feature here to search for a specific topic. Once you find an item, and I'm just going to pick the first thing on the page here, use the web clipper, whichever one you've chosen, although I highly recommend the OneNote web clipper clipper since we're sending everything to OneNote. Uh, you can use the full page or the article. I'm just going with the article. I'm going to select article of the week from my uh, OneNote. And let's say this was, uh, it could be week two. I'm going to put it in directions so that I'm not cluttering it up. But you'll pick whichever week. Clip it. And then you're done. Now let's come back to the tool here, uh, the Excel sheet. If this were a tool of the week, you would have gone to Common Sense. From here, you could EdTech Ratings and Reviews. This gives you the option to refine your search based on grade level and subjects. So I'm going to pick science and let's go with, say, grade 10. Uh, there are additional filters you can use. We'll have to pause a moment while the page loads. And you could pick a tool off of here. So let's say I wanted science news for students. I could select that. It's going to give me information. How can I teach with this tool? What is it? What's it good for learning for? I'm going to open the continue reading. I'm going to select what is it. And I'm going to send this to my OneNote. I want just the article. And this time I'm going to pick Tool of the Week. So I'll close that. I'll open Tool of the Week. Uh, you'll pick the week that you're in, but I'm going to pick Directions. And clip it. Coming back to our LTI tool, uh, this is the Excel spreadsheet for the weekly submission. You can open Article of the Week here or Tool of the Week here. So I'll open this. When the page loads, you'll find that there is now under the Directions section the exact page that I loaded using the web clipper. Notice the address, the link is automatically included. You get points for that. Now you have to annotate over top of this. So you can put your cursor somewhere on here or off to the side uh, or underneath a paragraph. You can probably do that and put an asterisk and annotate, you know, add a comment. Then you'll come up here 
after you've added a couple comments, and you'll do your why, how, what statement, and a summary of the uh, of the article. Now, summary, keep it short because uh, the article's right there and it's annotated. So a quick summary of it and the why, how, what statement. And then we'll do the same thing with the uh, tool of the week. So we're gonna come back to our LTI. We're gonna open the tool of the week. And you'll notice under the directions page, there's now an item here called Science News for Students. And it's not yet synced yet, but you'll complete the same tasks once that item's there as you did for the first one. And you'll submit those both through the LTI tool. You'll come here, you'll pick Article of the Week, OneNote Rubric, Well, that was supposed to automatically link you to this page and it didn't, but notice down here, you have article of the week rubric. I want you to go through and score yourself. Did you do a why statement? Did you do a how statement? So if you did it and use the rubric here, give yourself the appropriate number of points, two, one, or zero. Same thing here, here, here. And when you do, your grade will automatically show up here. And then you'll do the same thing with the tool of the week. And that one worked. <laughs> so you'll grade yourself and then you'll come back to return to home, which is right here. And it takes you right back. Let's see if this is working at, yeah, well, that's working now too. So those, this is the tutorial on how to do an article of the week and a tool of the week.